Remember, in the 90s there were such eternal questions. Who is stronger, Bruce Lee or Chuck Norris? Stallone or Schwarzenegger? And so on. It was impossible to check, but now the question is closer to reality and which, in principle, has been repeatedly checked. Who will be the winner of the fight, a tiger or a lion? This has long plagued the minds of hunters and naturalists. The African lion, of course, can be considered the king of beasts and one of the most powerful wild cats on the planet. However, it cannot be denied that the tiger is also worthy of this title. You know how they say, Leo is of course the king, but tiger is the emperor. Both cats are the largest members of their family. They are fearless and very strong. But which of them is the strongest? Let's find out right now. If you feel like a tiger or a lion, subscribe to the channel and express your opinion in the comments below. In the wild, lions and tigers don't meet each other. However, humans have found a way to bring these predators together. In ancient Rome, African lions and Asiatic tigers fought in the arena of the Colosseum. Later they found each other in zoos. In confined spaces, these wild cats often have to sort things out. The lion is naturally more aggressive than the tiger and is much more accustomed to fighting. In fact, the lion is the initiator of all conflicts. Either hormones are playing or the lion is worried that the tiger will steal its females. However, the striped emperor has no interest in lionesses. One way or another, the lion is almost always the instigator of fights. The tiger can retreat if it feels that it is necessary, while the lions have difficulty letting go of their victims. Yes, the tiger behaves more nobly and tactfully in such conflicts. This doesn't mean that he is afraid of the lion. He just doesn't get into a fight when there is no need. Nature taught him to conserve strength. But if he encounters a very stubborn lion, then the tiger will obviously not run away. It will enter into a fight with him and punish him. Let's first see what kind of arsenal the lion's body has. The maximum weight of a lion is 270 kilograms. The length of its body without a tail reaches 2.5 meters, and the height at the withers is 1 meter 20 centimeters. The flexible, mobile body of the lion has well-developed muscles of the neck and forepaws. The hind legs of a lion are weaker, so it cannot stand on its hind legs for a long time. The massive head of a lion with an elongated muzzle is endowed with strong jaws. The lion's bite force is 45.7 kilograms of force per square centimeter. The lion has 30 teeth. Fangs up to 8 cm in size allow him to successfully hunt large animals – roe deer, wild boars, zebras, antelopes, and buffaloes. The lion's claws reach 7 cm in length. Lions are fighters from birth. Frequent fights with other lions and combat experience make the male lion an experienced and very dangerous fighter. The male lion spends most of the time in battles defending the pride and pride territory, and nature helps him in this. For additional protection and intimidation of enemies, the lion has a mane. It is so thick that it's good enough, like chain mail, to protect the lion's neck from the fangs of enemies. This too is a reminder that male lions are made for combat. This is the entire arsenal that Leo possesses. Now let's take a look at what arsenal the tiger has in order to understand why it is he who defeats the lion in 99.9% .9 of cases. The maximum weight of a tiger is 380 kilograms. The length of its body without a tail reaches 3 meters and the height at the withers is 1 meter 20 centimeters. This powerful strong cat jumps over a 3 meter high fence with a cow in its teeth. The tiger has long and sharp fangs 10 centimeters long, long and razor sharp claws 10 centimeters long. And the tiger bite force is 73.8 kilograms of force per square centimeter. 
The tiger is by nature a loner. He never hopes for the help of anyone else and always strives to end the fight with a quick victory. Such cruelty often gives tigers an advantage. In addition, tigers are more agile and faster than lions. They can jump up to 10 meters in length. Unlike other cats, tigers swim very well, which helps them to fight and hunt even in the water. The tiger hunts deer, musk deer, goral, wild pigs and bulls. But a very hungry tiger can even attack and kill a black bear. This makes the tiger the most violent land animal on earth. And now, using the knowledge gained about the lion and the tiger, let's try to compare them together and evaluate which of them is stronger. When comparing, it is immediately clear that the tiger is 100 kilograms heavier than the lion, and this is very important. This means that the tiger has more muscles, more strength. The tiger is half a meter longer than the lion. The tiger's fangs are 2 centimeters longer than the lion's. The bite force is greater by 23 kilograms of force per square centimeter. The claws of a tiger are longer and sharper than those of a lion by 2 centimeters. The tiger is faster and more agile than a lion. The tiger moves faster and strikes with its front paws much faster. On average, one blow of a lion accounts for about 5-6 powerful blows of a tiger. It is difficult to resist such a hail of blows. But that is not all. The tiger has stronger hind legs thanks to which it can stand and strike with both paws at the same time, while the African lion needs one paw and both hind legs to resist. Leos can also stand on their hind legs but for a few seconds only because they have weaker hind legs. The lion tries to bite its victims instinctively looking for the jugular fossa. However, in this case the king of beasts often turns out to be unbalanced and opens his neck. However, his mane often saves him. The tiger is smarter. He never exposes his weak points to the enemy. Standing on two hind legs, he strikes with both front legs. The tiger takes care of delivering the decisive blow. It tries to reflect and deal damage at the same time. He also has a stronger killer instinct. He knows that 100 small wounds will eventually do their job. The tiger has much more stamina than the lion, which is not used to prolong physical exertion. There is a known case in India during a tiger hunt. A hunter with a gun was sitting in a turret on the back of a tall elephant. He saw a tiger in the thickets and fired a gun at him. The bullet hit exactly the heart of the tiger. An ordinary beast would collapse to the ground dead, but the fierce tiger rushed at the hunter in a rage. With a bullet in his heart, the tiger ran 20 meters to the elephant, jumped on his back and hit the hunter with a blow of his paw. And only after that, the tiger collapsed dead to the ground. No, of course, both animals are strong and dangerous enough, but even in terms of fighting technique, the tiger is decisively superior to the lion. The lion's main advantage is brute strength, while the tiger has the principle of dealing damage, defending and retreating to try a different attack. Of course, if the lion manages to bite the tiger by the neck, this will most likely be the end, but the chances of this are 1 in a hundred thousand. Rather, on the contrary, when the lion uses up his energy and gets tired, the tiger will definitely take advantage of this. In history, both animals have participated in battles many times, and each time the tiger defeated the lion. In 2011, at a zoo in Turkey, a tiger knocked down a lion with just one blow. According to zoo staff, the striped predator clawed at the jugular vein in the neck of the lion, which fell dead into a pool of blood. Even BBC News wrote about this incident. Каждую неделю браконьеры убивают двух тигров, и зачастую детёныши остаются одни и вынуждены заботиться сами о себе. 
It turns out, whatever one may say, despite some of the advantages of a lion, the tiger is physically larger and stronger than the lion. However, the tiger, although he is stronger than all beasts, was not called the king of beasts. And rightly so. The tiger acts more like a bully. He doesn't lead a royal way of life. He rushes through the forest after deer, and he has no subjects. But the lion leads a truly royal lifestyle. A whole tribe is subordinate to him, a pride of lions. The male lion is a true king. He provides protection for the territory and members of the pride. He doesn't rush after antelopes, but fights with the enemies of the pride. He keeps order in the pride with truly royal equanimity. Yes, and he has a royal appearance. And the roar of a lion is truly royal. The roar of a lion can be heard at a distance of up to 8 kilometers. Therefore, the lion is deservedly and justly called the king of beasts, although he is not the strongest of them. Well, in general, of course, it would be better if they never fought for the title of king of beasts, but would coexist peacefully, as once upon a time, at the beginning of our history, all animals together peacefully lived in the Garden of Eden. Dear friends, we hope you enjoyed this video. Stay with us because we have prepared for you many more interesting videos like this. See you soon!